Hi, I'm Jason Bond at the Beacon Hill Bistro in Boston. We're making French macaron today. Ideally, to get a smooth batter for this cookie, you'll need to put things through a sieve, and even better, process them quickly so that everything's smooth. You've got almond flour that has some chunks in it still. You've got the pulverized freeze-dried raspberries, which still have some pieces in it. So just to get them smooth, we'll process them like this. So we put our powdered sugar, our almond flour, and the freeze-dried raspberries, which you can find at almost every grocery store. You can find them online, very easy to get. I like them because it's a natural product. It flavors, it colors, and it's natural. There's no additives, no nothing. It's just pure raspberries. That's it, fast process, no lumps. Smells nice. Now the rose petals I add right after this, the rose petals are frozen. And we're lucky here, we live close to a lot of beaches, Horse Neck Beach in Westport. Lots of wild roses grow all over the place, so in the summertime, I'll pick rose petals, and I'll freeze them, we'll do all kinds of things. They're frozen so they're hard, they'll mash up in the blender. So this part, you have to be fast. And then finally, just put this through any kind of a sieve you have. That'll just give your cookies a finer appearance. And last, you can add the rose petals that you've chopped up. So now the dry ingredients and your egg whites are in the mixing bowl. Start on low. And you just mix them until they come together, make a smooth batter, and that's it. Very easy. So before we get this going, what we have on the stove already is our simple syrup. Actually, it's going to be a, a softball syrup. It's sugar and water in a pan, and we'll cook it to the softball stage, about 250 degrees Fahrenheit but your candy thermometer, always have your little softball. So you cook it to that, and then after the egg whites are whipped, we'll pour that in, give you a very stable Italian meringue, very firm. So you start off with egg whites, of course. Then we add some sugar to that also, which just helps to stabilize the egg whites until we add the hot sugar. And then the hot sugar will cook it to make it a very stable mixture. And your syrup will take longer to cook, so be sure and put that on first. It'll take about 10 minutes to get, get up to temperature. So I've just pulled our sir sugar syrup off the heat, and our egg whites are just coming up to a firm heat, so we've matched them up time-wise, just where we want them. Now with this rending very carefully, add the syrup. So you should continue to whip these until they get very light and you can feel the bowl, the bowl should start to feel cool to the touch. And that's it. Looks good, holds a nice peak. Okay. So the next step is fold the egg whites into your almond flour mixture. Step number three is combine the egg whites into the almond flour mixture. Start with just a little bit at a time, just to lighten the almond flour mixture. So you can see it starts out fairly heavy. You incorporate a little bit, about a quarter of the egg whites at first, that'll lighten it, make it a lot easier to mix in the rest. See now you can feel the texture is getting softer, that's good. So now it's fairly light and aerated. 
feels pretty good. You can see for a mixture, but not too much. Not bad. A few streaks of egg white still in the mixture is okay. Actually, it goes into piping bags. You can get plastic ones at the store. You can buy canvas ones. I get a little cup. Makes it easier. Holds it steady for you like that. Okay. You don't need a tip for this, but just a... Uh, if you have a canvas bag, the half inch tip is just about right. Or if you have a disposal bag like this, snip it. Got about a half inch opening right there. And it's kind of important, you want to get it straight across because if there's any edges, it'll, it'll drag your macaroon batter and you'll get a funny little shape when you bake them. Now to prepare your pan for baking, very easy. A piece of parchment paper, put a little blob on the pan, that'll hold the paper down. You know, especially if you have a convection oven, the paper will blow over. So. And then to make the macaron, just go straight down. And if you get little tips, what you can do is you can get a little cup of water and you can tap those down with just a wet finger and you'll come out with a nice smooth top. And what we'll do is we'll let these set for about an hour before we bake them and they'll get a nice smooth glassy top and the, the surface will even out. So just a perfect little dome. So we'll pipe as many pans as we have and this recipe will yield probably 50 sandwich cookies. So about a hundred of these little matched pairs. They're also good, even if you don't fill them, just a nice little almond cookie. Now, there's no flour in these, it's great. Great for holidays, great for gluten allergies, great for breakfast. So we'll finish piping the batter. We'll set these aside to rest for about one hour. So our raspberry macaron have rested for about an hour. That just helps form a little bit of a shell. You get a little crunch when you bite into it. So the next step is they go into a 250 degree Fahrenheit oven. 15 to 18 minutes, you know, all ovens are different, so you might have to try a couple batches, but pretty fast, so about 15 minutes in the oven. So the macaron are out of the oven. This is a great cookie, you can do all kinds of things with it. You can change the flavor, you can change the filling, you can have no filling. You can take the recipe that you see and you can change all the flavorings you want. And in Paris, you see places that do, you know, countless flavors, countless variations. The fillings can be buttercream, they can be jam, they can be caramel, ganache, all kinds of things. Foie gras, so um, endless variations. So we do simple ones and even even just a couple simple fillings makes a lot of good variation on a table and they're fun. So a nice rich cookie. You don't need too many of them, but they're lots of fun in the afternoon. Don't be too skimpy with the filling because everybody likes a small indulgence. Great for an afternoon tea, great for a little party, nice after dinner. I hope you find them all very easy to make and that you try them at home.